All right, guys, what is up? We're back. This time, we're in Mexico. Pretty stoked. Baja 500. <laughs> Walking up to get registered right now. Um, just finished pre running yesterday, um, and now we're just getting all ready. So let's do this. That looks sick. It's like sporty. Oh, and it's sticking out the back. And then this side's just pretty normal. It's gotta go somewhere. <laughs> Looks good, all right. All right she looks fresh. All right, this is the next. Hey, you're going to be driving as well. Yeah, that's right. I'm going to be the backup driver in the 90. You looked good up there. I tried. You I held her down. Good as you. All right, guys. So we're here at the airport. Pretty stoked. Um, so plane we've been building, the Baja Bush plane, is finally um, in enough shape where it can come and fly. So this is his first outing, pretty stoked. Uh, they're gonna be chasing for us the whole whole day on uh, Saturday, race day. So they just took me up, uh, let me play around in a little. So much fun and uh, now, and then we kind of looked over the course, took some notes, see, uh, see if we could see any cool lines, but uh, just good, you know, quick little flyover before all we're resting up today. Today we're just kind of hanging out making sure we're drinking water and getting rested up but man this thing is so sweet so i'll clip in a, a bunch of really cool clips of us flying right now so Alright, so we just finished up our flight in the plane, just got some fuel, and now we're taxiing back to the parking spot. But we're gonna do a little shakedown in the race cars for the big race tomorrow, so let's go get some miles in. What's up guys? Sorry, I am interrupting your video right now to bring you some awesome news. Starting this week, we are going to start doing weekly giveaways. This week, it is going to be a $100 Amazon gift card. Prime Day is coming up in two weeks, I think, so I figured might as well start off with a cool one. And they're only going to get bigger and better the more people start participating. All you have to do, hit that subscribe button, then drop a comment below saying, done. It's that simple. If you do that, I'd really appreciate it. And I mean, it's a $100 gift card, that simple, to Amazon. And I really appreciate it if you guys can go and share this with like 10 friends or five friends. If you share it with five friends, it would make my day. So do that. But now, back to your regular video. Making the dog part. Like crazy. 
We're good. It's clear. <laughs> Got our camelback. Team meeting for one specific pit. Whole bunch of people. What's up, Wayne? All right. Got the planning going. Bryce is on it. Bryce. You Let me uh, turn my light off. That was a little official. What's your chase? Oh, what's your chase uh, truck looking like? Good? Solid? Uh, let me give you a tour of it. So right here. We have our snacks. Okay, I like. And then here we got, there's an Optima battery in there, just for any issues. And here we got some Maxima products. Hold on one sec, let me slip around. Okay, so in here, we just got some Maxima products. Okay. Never know if you're ever gonna need some cleaners. Uh, I saw in, some stuff back here I thought was interesting. Inside the truck, we may have pissed off an OXO and got a lot of snacks. Oreos, not on race day. Trash, Wait, where's the trash can? Keep the snacks. Oh, lots of bread. Good lord. <laughs> Your mom wanted bread. And then, pretty much standard in the front. We did get some fresca that I wanted you to try. That's not fresca. Yeah, it's fresca, trust me. All right, and then. Oh, pork rinds? Those are Riley's. And oh. mostly in the back, we just got the rest of the spare parts. We have a um, wheel and a tire. Ice. Um, ice, some spare trailing arms, you know. Got an axle. I like the Honda Red. Good touch. Good touch. Um, Thank you. Front diff. Now we have a front diff. And uh, this is Bryce's toolbox. Wow. You never know what. Show, show them your screwdrivers. Bro, you talk way too much crap on my screwdrivers. There ain't nothing wrong with them. Hey, hey, I want everyone to comment what you think of the screwdrivers. No, they're blue points. Neither I think nice. a screwdriver tells a lot about a man. You know what? Look at this. <coughs> I have some snap on in here. Boom. That's blue point. <laughs> blue point. Perfect. We got a rear diff now. We pretty much have a whole tower on board. Okay. Sounds good. All right, we're here. Start line, just about to get suited up. Um, a bit of chaos. Got Elliot. Hi. You starting, I don't know, Elliot's starting near me. I don't even know our starting order. We don't even know what's going on, but yeah, we're gonna have some fun. So yeah, it's gonna be a long day. So stay tuned. Bryce should keep you updated. He better keep you updated. So yeah. All right, uh, not the day, not the day we wanted. Um, unfortunately, at race mile 94, uh, we just lost an engine, put a window on the side, and um, yeah, pretty bummer. We were running good. We were just cruising, you know, just clicking off miles and just getting there. And we were just on here on the lake bed, and um, I don't know, something happened. All of a sudden, it just kakoof. 
uh, blew up. We pulled over, got out. Uh, There's oil flying everywhere. Little things were smoldering. Hit it with the extinguisher. Everything went out, but um, sucks. It sucks. It's not the way we want to end our day. Luckily, luckily we're not too far from a chase road, so we already got Steve, the donkey commander. He's gonna tow us out and. We're gonna go chase Elliot, so he's doing good. He wasn't far behind me, so he just passed a couple minutes ago, and now it's his, now it's his turn. He's gotta he's gotta get, pull it through for us, so no pressure, Elliot. When I look at the data, when I get back on, the sometimes it sucks. that flare. Okay, you look it out. You let me know. Yeah, this. Is So uh, Elliot just pitted and now we're back on the highway heading down south. Uh, I'm not really sure what our plan is yet. We've been chasing Elliot, been doing a radio relay, but now we're on the road, just kind of heading south towards San Felipe where the car should be by now because we waited up top for a while on the lake bed. So. Post race must. We are at this taco shop place. It's called Asadero El General. We've got some tacos and burritos. We're gonna test them out. We'll see how they go. Do you think it's a risky place or solid? I definitely think it's like Taco Bell amplified. So it's probably pretty risky for sure. And I feel bad because we're talking bad on it, but they don't understand English, so they don't know what we're saying. And they're talking bad on us because we don't understand Spanish. Yeah. All right, so we decided we had to burn off our uh, our sorrows one way or another. So stopped at the fireworks store. Just bought a bunch of four-inch mortars, some M80s. Wait, and do those things to hold up? Some M. Well, we bought some apples too. Yeah. Hey. They said the, the apples were half a stick of dynamite. The guy said he makes these himself. Bryce, are you nervous? Uh, usually I wouldn't be, but since he told me he made these, I'm a little sketched out and we're in sand so we can't run very fast. <laughs> okay, we have our train technician here. I've gone to fireworks group for 24 years. What's the plan? I'm gonna light this bad boy and run due east. Give us a countdown. Three. Oh, okay, we're not focused, yep. Three. Train technician now is Christopher Pavorty on the sticks, false light, and now it's lit. And she's going to take off. All right, so got our blue masking tape, electrical tape. Oh, El Patron wrapper. Patron. That's pretty, re pretty reliable. Hey, I'm glad he's recycling. Ingenuity at its finest. Bryce, so what is your apple? Bro, homie said he made it, and it's half a stick of dynamite. And we're gonna put it in the tube, and it's not gonna shoot up, but it hopefully will blow the tube apart. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, that's- Oh, look at the bottom of the tube, the wood's gone. It shot it out. All right, just when you think your luck can get any worse. Generator on the motorhome. Again, and it's like a hundred and something. So, yeah, if anyone wants to buy a motorhome, race car, 
the number 94. I think I'm just gonna take a break right now because it just keeps coming one after another and a lot of signs. All right, what happened? <laughs> All right, so just got into Mexicali and heading to the border and Bryce got himself, his, I think this is his first pullover in Mexico. He's two cars behind me. It's me and my dad. It's me, my dad's behind me in the motorhome and then Bryce is in the back with a truck and trailer. And he's got lit up, but a little bit of a talk in his way and uh, $23 and we're back on the road. Apparently we all ran a stop sign. There's no stop sign that I saw at least, but hey, I love Mexico. All right, so we just sat in the borderline for what? Uh, it wasn't too long, 30 minutes or so. And then two cars to go, they closed the border for us. Two cars. So now we have to go west to the west entry and then sit through another line, which this one's gonna be way longer, I think, so. Not to put the blame on anyone, but I mean, if Bryce didn't get pulled over, we would have made it in time. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can put the two and two together, but. My boy Carson just bailed, because he wanted some churros. I told him the guy would bring them to him, but he, he wanted to negotiate. Yeah, we what we just traded. What'd you get? We traded your ring and spare for five ceramic donkeys and two chickens. Him. For two bucks? Yeah, I got him for two bucks and lady helped out and paid for him. What? <laughs> yeah, some car pulled up. I was like, I'll give you a dollar. I was like, all right. Hooked it up. Damn. So, it was just a little chaotic. Carson's running up with his new, uh, new, uh, this is pretty fine piece. Bryce is yelling that the churros are, uh, affecting him very very badly right now and he's panicking all right guys that is a wrap hope you guys had fun we're back stateside all safe uh made it across the border whatnot but you guys know the deal we drop new videos every single week so be sure to hit that subscribe button i'd really appreciate it hit a like below drop a comment below and remember if you didn't watch earlier i i'm doing a big giveaway every single week now and i'm gonna pick it before next week so Next Tuesday, make sure you're entered by then. Tell your friends. And yeah, yeah, yeah go back in the video because I'll give you a hint. It's a $100 Amazon gift card. And it'll probably take you about three seconds to enter. So see you next week and uh, the lucky winner will be picked. Boo!